gossip. <sighs> On a physical level. Uh, meaning, the way gossip comes about, or the way gossip is perceived, you may get two or three people who like to talk about other people. They like to gossip on other people's stuff. They may not know exactly what they're talking about. They may not have all the details, but talk they will. And two other people who have low vibrational energy, who suffer from low self-esteem, who suffer from uh, just various different types of personality disorders. Uh, gossip is something that they really like to do. <laughs> they really like to do it. So if you're, you know, if you meet people and they love to sit around and talk about other people, you can pretty much bet that all those people who are sitting around talking about other people have a mental disorder of some sort. That is a fact. It is not a question. <laughs> it is not a, well, they're really nice people and, you know, I do it too. I talk about people. No, y'all have mental disorders. Okay? That, that's just the facts. I am sorry if that bursts anybody's bubble. But sitting around discussing other people's stuff or them themselves, laughing about them, you know, making jokes about them, uh, talking about things that they do, even when you don't understand it, you don't get it, but you're still talking about it, you're still laughing about it, you think it's funny, whatever. While you're spending time doing that, displaying your mental disorders, that person is probably off doing something really great, <laughs> like making money or working out or, you know, taking care of their family. Uh, but anyway, if you meet people and you find that they spend a lot of time sitting around gossiping about other people. If you have seen the effects of gossip in the past, then you will probably know not to sit down and join them, to leave. Uh, because it gets really dirty and it gets really ugly and it becomes a big drama, especially when the person that they're talking about finds out what they've been saying, and who they've been saying it to. Now that is on a physical level. That is down here, 3D reality. Uh, it's not pretty. But on a spiritual level, it's even worse. <laughs> I hate to tell you guys, but you're never alone. Never. There are always spirits. Sometimes it's ghosts. Sometimes it's demons. Sometimes it's spiritual <laughs> people on your spiritual team. Maybe it's some spiritual entity from somebody else's team. You are never alone. Do not ever think that a thought passing through your head is not recorded by somebody. The words that you speak coming out of your mouth are recorded by somebody. On a spiritual level, gossip is so bad. It is so incredibly bad. Trying to 
damage someone by speaking ill of them, talking about their stuff, you will <laughs> develop some serious karma from talking, gossiping about people on a spiritual level. Now, I've said this before, when it comes to karma, karma does not always come from the same source. So if you do something bad to Amy, Amy may not give you back the karma. You might meet five people between Amy and the person who does dish you out the karma. It's up to spirit. Spirit decides when that karma gets dished out. So, and they'll do it strategically too. <laughs> spirit is no dummy. They know exactly how to dish it out and when to dish it out so that it makes the biggest impact. Not only on you, but on everybody who's watching. It used to be years ago that karma took, it seemed like it took forever. It seemed like, you know, like some situation would happen and you knew there was going to be karma coming from that situation. And you would watch for it. And it would take years before that karma came about. Those days are gone, my friend. Now, <laughs> if there's karma to be dished out, you can expect it to be dished out in months. Maybe even weeks. It's coming very, very quickly now. And on a spiritual level, you think about just you and another person sitting around talking about a third person, okay? The fact that you guys are talking about this person allows that person's spiritual team to watch. It allows your spiritual team to watch. It allows this person that you're talking to spiritual team to watch demons they kind of you know come and go as they please they they kind of get into the middle of things even if they're not wanted uh so they're watching and you have monitoring spirits <laughs> who are watching nothing you do in life you do by yourself and I don't think a lot of people realize that. I think a lot of people do things when they are by themselves thinking that nobody else is going to know about it. Guess what? God knows. God knows and your spirit team knows and probably 10 other spirit teams around you. They all know because they're all watching. You are never alone. The things that you do are being watched. They're being recorded. It is all out in the open on a spiritual level. Now, you may talk to somebody and gossip about a person in the 3D. And you and this person are tight. You know that this person is not going to tell anybody about your your secrets or your conversations or anything like that but it doesn't matter because people were watching spiritually many people were watching and it was recorded so although you think you've had a private conversation with this person and these this isn't going to get out anywhere that is not the case. And I cannot tell you how many times I've seen where information comes out where there was only two people that were involved in the conversation. But somebody overheard. Or somebody recorded it. How did that happen? <laughs> how did that happen? And everybody will blow it off like, oh, it was set up. Or it was... This now, now, and if the offense is bad enough, 
Your spirit team, they will, they, they will dig their heels in. They will dig their heels in and they will vow to pay you back karmically for something that you've done until it's done. I mean, they will not stop attempting to make the truth become known until it becomes known. They will continue to poke and prod and make this information come out. And they're very good at what they do. They're very good at what they do. Now, they may not be able to catch this first conversation. But the next time that it happens, I guarantee you they're already working on a plan to make sure you get dished some karma. It's just the way it is. You are never alone. And they usually say that when you're going through some big emotional drama in your life. Oh, you know, things are so terrible. And they're so sad. And people will say, oh, but you're never alone. You know, your spirit guides are there. Your, your the angels are there. <coughs> well, guess what? They are there when you're doing the bad stuff, too. <laughs> So, gossip is a big no-no in the spiritual world. You don't want to be talking about other people. You don't want to be, that is literally, you are manifesting problems for the person you're talking about. You are creating um you know, in, in the spirit world, everything we think is magnified. It's, it's important. We think as humans, we're the only ones that hear our thoughts. Not true. We think our thoughts don't matter because they're just our thoughts. But thoughts become things and things become bigger things. There is a chain. There is a process that we go through to manifest something. And thinking is part of manifesting. So in order to have the ability to manifest we have to have the ability to think. And if our thoughts are bad, if they are, what is it? Thoughts become words, words become actions, actions become manifestations or something like that. So you think it, you put it down into the, the physical, the 3D, maybe on paper or you talk to somebody about it, that is another manifestation process. So to the spirit realm, when you're gossiping, you are basically doing witchcraft on another human being. Now, you may not call it witchcraft. You may not call it spell work. You may not consider yourself to be a witch. But when you start talking about other people and you start talking about their business and what they're doing and how they're handling it, you are practicing witchcraft. You are actually creating situations in that person's life that are capable of manifesting in a negative way because rarely is gossip ever a positive thing it's malicious it's nasty and it is meant to do harm and on a physical level it does harm and on a spiritual level it really does harm because it gets bigger and more volatile. And if you have spirit guides 
you work with your guardian angel, whatever, whatever your thing is, you know that they do not take kindly to gossip. You may say, and I've done it, I've done it, I've done it to my guides. I don't care what they're saying about me because I'm never going to see them again. I'm never going to have anything to do with these people again. And my guides are like, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Because they are manifesting bad things into your life by doing that. So there is a reason why gossip is considered to be bad. And that is the reason. Uh, it is bad on a physical level. But on a spiritual level, it's like 10 times worse than it is on the physical level. So my advice, if you regularly find pleasure in talking about someone that you can't stand and talking poorly about them and gossiping about them and laughing behind their back and, you know, making fun, stop doing it because people are watching and karma will come for you. And it will not be pretty. And you won't know where it came from. It, you could get six months down the road. And then all of a sudden something happens in your life that only God could do. Or only an angel could do. You are asking for bad to come into your life. And if you gossip enough and you create problems in this other person's life, the karma will be really big really big so just be aware that when you're gossiping about other people you are very much hurting them and you are very much hurting yourself blessings